Today I want to talk about five things I do every weekend to set myself up for success and my hope is that by sharing this you may get some suggestions about what you could include or tweak in your week weekend to set yourself up for success as well. So the number one thing that I make sure every weekend to have is some alone time. Right now I am home with the kids and I find I need that alone time to recharge so that I can be that patient mom I want to be throughout the rest of the week. Whether you're in the working in the home or working out of the home, that alone time is going to be just as valuable. So whether that is an hour, whether that is half an hour, whether that is a whole day, that will depend on you and your individual circumstances. But find some period of time where you can just be by yourself to decompress. The second thing then is the flip side of that, which is family time. If I can take some time on the weekend to really have that true connection time where we're not hustling and bustling and getting from one place to the next and getting everything done, when we can allow the children to choose what it is they want to do, kind of meet them where they are and really find that quality time, then that carries us through the rest of the week. If we can fill their buckets, um, if you're familiar with that saying, if we can fill their buckets on the weekend, that helps ensure everything runs smoothly through the rest of the week. The third thing then is to accomplish one big job and scratch it off the to-do list. Whether that is cleaning the house from top to bottom, whether that is changing out winter clothes for summer clothes, which is what we were doing this weekend, whatever that big job is, Devote some time to get one thing done so you feel accomplished and ready for the next week. The fourth, the fourth thing is to make sure to get in some movement time and some outside time. As we go through the busy day-to-day -day during the week, you're not always able to fit those things in. So making it a priority on the weekend, again, it just helps you to feel refreshed and energized and recharged. And finally, the, the fifth thing is to pick something that is just for you. And I don't mean just the alone time because the alone time could be productive alone time or not. Pick something that is just for you, something that is going to make you feel relaxed, make you feel like there's something different, like it's not just another busy day. Whether that is settling down with a book out in the bright sunlight, going for a walk and a chat with a friend, whatever that might be, pick one thing for you and make that a priority. So when I do these five things, on the weekend, I end the week feeling recharged, rested, ready to take on the next one, and it breaks up that kind of mundane hamster wheel effect that we can kind of experience during the week. So try it out, see if there's any of those five things that might help you feel more successful as you go through your week as well.